So they said to solve this problem, it's called an initial value problem by separation of variables. So what we're going to do is separate the x's and the y's, and then we're going to integrate both sides. Okay. So let's get this to the that side, and we mm -hmm. do that by dividing it. So 2y over 4 root y. I'm Wait. dividing it on both sides. What happened to dx? I'm, I'm dealing with that, and I'm going to okay. multiply dx to the other side at the same time. So we have ln of x over x times dx. Okay. I just did kind of all at once. In calculus, you kind of have to learn how to do stuff in your head. Okay. So I divided this to the other side at the same time I multiplied by that. But then... That, I, that way I separated. See how my x's are on the right, my y's are on the left. Okay. So now we're going to do... Now we're going to integrate both sides. We're just going to integrate both sides. Okay. Kind of like taking the square root of both sides or yeah. something like that. So let's rewrite this a little bit. This is one fourth of y to the negative one half dy. Right? Okay. And over on this side, I'm probably going to have to use u substitution. Okay. And I can see what's the derivative of ln of x. This is it 1 over x? It's 1 over x, which I have right here. Oh, okay. So I'm going to let u equal ln of x. Okay. So what's du equal to? Uh, B 1 over x dx, which I have right here. Mm -hmm. So this equals the integral of u du. du. Okay. Got it? So I can do this side without that. I can just do that with just normal, 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 yeah, integration yeah. rules, antiderivative rules. Okay. So this is um, what y to the positive one half over one half, over one half which means times two. two. Yeah. And this equals u squared over two. Mm -hmm. So let's simplify both those. That's just one half the square root of y equals, and I'm plugging this in for u, so that equals ln of x, one half ln of x squared. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So there's my um, there's my integration. Now I'm using my initial value. Oh, I'm sorry. And this was plus c. Because mm -hmm. don't forget the plus c. Because this isn't. So you just said you like subtract it to the other side or not? It doesn't really matter. I'm just there's. We know there's going to be some constant in there that we don't. That we have to account for. Okay. Okay. So now. So actually, we're gonna we we want to write the equation. See how it says y of e equals 1? Yeah. So we want to write this. We want to write y of x equals something. Okay. We want to try to solve this for y yeah. right here. See that? Okay. So I'm going to multiply by 2. Right? And so that will basically just cancel out. Yeah. Now this is just going to be 2c, but it's still just some constant. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. And then I'm going to square. To get rid of the square root, I'm going to square both sides. Yeah. So I really have the natural log of x to the fourth power plus some constant equals y. Okay. Now they told me that now I have to solve for c. And that's what that's where this initial value comes in. Oh yeah, no, you're right. Yeah. They told me that y of e when I plug in e for this function equals one. They told me that equals 1, which means that would equal the natural log of e to the fourth plus c. And what's the natural log of e? Is it just it's one. just 1. So this is just 1 equals 1 plus c, c which means c equals 0. So my equation, my answer, is just going to be y equals the natural log of x to the fourth. Okay, that's right.